Let's get into this video really quickly. I know a lot of people like to talk about OnlyFans, right? About how OnlyFans is degenerate and how a lot of women are partaking in OnlyFans and how their viewers and probably even a couple people that are watching this video that are partaking in paying for OnlyFans. However, I like to look at it a bit deeper. What is OnlyFans investing their money in? Mm. So today, OnlyFans, the popular subscription-based platform, announced its recent decision to invest a portion of its profits into Ethereum, a leading cryptocurrency. Let's get it. OnlyFans' decision to invest in Ethereum reflects a strategic shift towards diversification and embracing the potential of emerging technology. So OnlyFans has managed to establish itself as a legitimate platform for smut creators, I mean content creators, to monetize their content, especially in the wake of the C-19 situation. However, the company recognizes the need to stay ahead of the curve in an ever-evolving digital landscape. Now, is this shocking or surprising to me? No, it's not. Um, when you have BlackRock, one of the biggest asset manager, if not the biggest asset manager in the world, stating that they're getting into crypto and, and they're calling it digital gold now when they used to call it a scam, right? But they're getting into it. It wouldn't shock me that OnlyFans, one of the fastest growing companies in the last three years, would get into it. Now, what I do find interesting is that instead of getting into Bitcoin, they got into ETH, but I will discuss that more in a bit. Investing in Ethereum aligns with OnlyFans' efforts to innovate and adapt. Let me say that again. Innovate and adapt. Ethereum is a decentralized blockchain platform that enables the creation of smart contracts and decentralized application dApps by investing in Ethereum. OnlyFans is signaling its intent to explore new revenue streams possibly by integrating blockchain technology in its platform. Now slow it down, Solo. Wait, now obviously this is speculative, right? But could this be a sign that OnlyFans may integrate Ethereum as a form of payment in the future? Well, knowing what we know about OnlyFans, the fact that they have smut content, right? Maybe some of their customer base wants privacy, which wouldn't shock me, that they're purchasing this content. And Ethereum would allow, you know, this is one of the pros about crypto, for them to do so, okay? Furthermore, furthermore, Ethereum's potential as a store of value and its growing adoption by mainstream financial institutions contribute to its appeal as a long-term investment. OnlyFans' decision to invest in Ethereum may also be influenced by Ethereum's inflation-resistant properties and its status as a hedge against traditional financial market fluctuations. Now, the pros are diversification, okay, innovation opportunities by embracing Ethereum's blockchain capabilities. OnlyFans could revolutionize its payment and subscription models, fostering increased trust and efficiency within the platform. Now, as soon as I saw the headline of this article, that's what I was thinking, okay? This makes perfect sense to me that they would utilize it. Now, on the flip side, we know in crypto that Ethereum's gas fees are outrageous, right? They're probably better off going with a layer two, but Ethereum, obviously, outside of Bitcoin, is the second most popular crypto. Long-term growth potential, Ethereum's growing popularity as a decentralized platform and store of value suggests the potential for substantial long-term gains, which could significantly benefit OnlyFans' financial health. Public relations boost, this move could help OnlyFans rebrand itself as a forward-thinking company, focusing on technological advancement rather than being solely associated with smut content. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I totally agree with that, okay? Um... Crypto hasn't even started yet. OnlyFans owner collects $485 million in dividends as it invests profits into Ethereum. Now, guys, think about it. $485 million. OnlyFans is making a lot of money, okay? A lot of money. Um, there's a lot of men that would rather go on OnlyFans than be outside. So that makes sense. Now, what are the cons? Now, volatility, of course, cryptocurrency 
markets are notoriously volatile and Ethereum's value can experience rapid fluctuations. This introduces level, a level of financial risk for OnlyFans, especially if the investment compromises a significant portion of its profit. Regulatory uncertainty. The regulatory landscape surrounding cryptocurrencies is still evolving. Well, in America, changes in regulations could impact OnlyFans' ability to hold and transact Ethereum, potentially leading to unforeseen complications. Reputation risk. Although OnlyFans has su successfully distanced itself from the most controversial aspects of the adult entertainment industry, uh, how so? Wait a sec. How, Sway? How? Associating with cryptocurrency could inadvertently lead to negative perceptions, especially if the value of Ethereum crashes, okay? Lack of expertise. Entering the world of cryptocurrency requires a deep understanding of blockchain technology and market dynamics. If OnlyFans lacks the necessary expertise, its investments could be less effective than intended. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure OnlyFans, they do have a an accountant department or a department that deals with crypto investing. I just don't think that they would buy Ethereum willy nilly if they don't at least have somebody that knows the basics of crypto, right? Opportunity costs, funds invested in Ethereum could have been used for other growth strategies such as platform improvements, marketing campaigns, or expanding user engagement initiatives. While I agree with that, um, OnlyFans only invested 20 million. And if they took out 485 million in dividends, then what the hell is 20 million? Matter of fact, I will even go to say that in the, by the next bull run, if you have Ethereum, let's say, where's Ethereum right now? At 1670, if Ethereum hits a $10,000 uh, token per coin, I mean, then, then you're looking at that $20 million that could possibly then go up to $200 million, right? And then whoever invested in it, they're going to be looked at as a freaking genius. They're going to be looked at as like that, um, what's his name? That Michael guy in the big short. I forgot his last name. OnlyFans' decision to invest a portion of its profits in Ethereum signifies a bold step towards embracing emerging technologies and diversifying its revenue streams by venturing into cryptocurrency landscape. The platform aims to tap into Ethereum's potential as a store of value and its blockchain capabilities. However, the decision comes with its own set of challenges, including the inherent volatility of crypto market and the regulatory uncertainties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they're just repeating itself. Um, I do think that more companies will... Uh, invest in crypto and then you know we already know tesla invested into bitcoin right and we know that elon musk is a huge uh you know he's a huge fan of dogecoin it wouldn't shock me if you hear more companies uh using crypto as a sort of a hedge or adding it into their portfolio to diversify within the next couple of years i already made a video about a year or two ago that mentioned that there are 80 companies that are looking, like 80 companies out of the Fortune 500 that are looking to add cryptocurrency to their portfolios. Yet when you mention that to people, they're like, hey, well, why should I invest in crypto? Well, CBDCs are knocking at the door, right? And a lot of people have no clue what that is. Anyway, so Ethereum is the one that OnlyFans is rocking with as of right now. And you know what? What does this tell me? Well, this tells me that ETH is one, a coin that definitely is a, a good long-term hold. Not financial advice, but definitely do your research. If you want to know more about crypto, check out my crypto channel. The link will be in the description, Trendsetter Crypto TV. Also, check out my Patreon for more videos because you guys know my channel is demonetized so yeah that's what happens when you know you do stuff that youtube doesn't like anyway it's your boy jones and i'm out god bless peace